Hey guys, it's Hank here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can run a virtual machine on your computer using VMware Workstation. Virtual machines will allow you to basically run multiple Windows operating systems on the host computer. Alright, and to do that we're going to be using VMware Workstation. This is a program that you must pay for, but there's a free version that you can get if you do a Google search for uh, VMware Workstation. So just do a Google search for VMware Workstation and if you're using Google it will be the first result. Here's their website right here and you can see here they offer a free trial of VMware Workstation. You can get that and download it and install it and once you've done that you're ready to install multiple operating systems on your computer. Now before you can do this you're going to need a Windows installation DVD or an ISO image of the Windows files. If you don't have neither of those you can't do this obviously. So. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to put in your Windows CD, which I'm going to do right now. I just put in my Windows CD, and once it's in that, once that's done, and you put your Windows CD into your computer, and you have VMware Workstation installed, open it up. And uh, when you open VMware Workstation up, you can click on create new virtual machine and uh, leave this check mark on typical recommended and click next and if you put your windows cd in it's automatic automatically going to find it in your dvd drive and uh, it's already detected windows 7 is inside the dvd drive so i'm going to click next i'm going to enter a username for the computer admin and up here you would enter your Windows product key if you have one and I'm going and you can also uh, make it password protected for your user account if you want to but I'm not going to bother click on next click yes and uh, call the virtual machine whatever you want I'm going to name it Windows 7 64 bit and uh, I'm going to click next and uh, click next again and that's going to create us up a 60 gigabyte partition click finish let this create a virtual disk when it's done we'll be ready to install windows on vmware workstation all right so once the virtual uh, disk has been created vmware workstation will automatically start to load the os up from the cd and you can now click up on the top here right up here and make it full screen and this will begin the installation for Windows. So we'll let it load all of its files up here. Alright, so once that's done, it's going to boot up into the installation, as I said, so we can install Windows. And it's just getting the setup ready here. Alright, from here you want to select what, uh, if you want a 64-bit or a 32-bit operating system and uh, in my case I'm installing a 32-bit because my CPU is not going to handle the host computer running 64-bit and this virtual machine running 40 64-bit so I'm going to choose x64 
x86. If you want to put in Windows uh, x 64 bit, you're going to choose x64. So 32 bit is what I'm going to put on there. And uh, what that's going to do is it's going to begin to install Windows on your computer. All right. So if you enjoy my videos, please remember to comment, write, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.